Two-time All-American Tyrell Todd for the Wolverines. Uh, Tyrell, you've been a two-time All-American at 184 pounds. Let's talk about the move up. You're going to 197 this year. Why the move up? And just talk about it. Um, you know, it was something that I uh, just started talking with coaches with kind of after the freestyle season last year. And uh, I put on some size after going 84 last year and, and after the, the freestyle season wrestling all spring. And uh, and coaches kind of mentioned to me one day, he's like, why don't you, why don't you move up? Because my weight was staying around 205, you know, and, uh, and getting down. For even for freestyle, and you know, day before weigh-ins was was a bit of a pull, and, and for freestyle it was it was pretty good. But for uh, you know, for collegiate, you know, the end of the year I was 10 pounds over the day before nationals, and uh, my legs were just kind of dead through the grind of the tournament a little bit. And uh, you know, strength training has been a big part of my preparation uh, in the past, and uh, I feel like you know, training hard and getting stronger, and then you know, cutting that 15, 20 pounds back is kind of it's kind of taking my legs out from underneath me. So I just wanted to to, to be strong and. Uh, and eat big, and then and then use my quickness uh, at, at the weight class up, and uh, so I just kind of trained for that end. And uh, you know, I'm actually you know I'm, I'm not I'm not a, I'm not gonna be a big 97 pounder this year, but I'm gonna be able to make up a, make up for it with speed and uh, and and with strength too. I'm, I'm not worried about the strength factor. Okay, so 197. What are you weighing right now? Uh, I'm, I mean I'm walking around like 208, 209, and then after workouts I'm you know 202, 203. So I'm right. So right it's not there. even like anything like you don't even need the extra workouts if you don't need to like go out and run or cut weight per se yeah and I mean I do I do extra stuff on my own you know and that's this is kind of part of my training in the morning doing some running and stuff but but uh, yeah I'm not gonna be needing to do those two or three workouts extra workouts at the end of the week to get down okay you're a Montana guy why Ann Arbor Michigan why the University of Michigan uh, you know there was several factors involved coming coming this far west I really wanted to go to the Big Ten. This far east. Excuse me, this far east. Okay. Coming from this far west. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I really wanted to go to the Big Ten ever since I was little, watching Competitor Supreme with Dan Gable, and I, uh, you know, I was I was big into Iowa then, and, and uh, Michigan kind of was coming on the scene big, and I and I and I, I, I love watching Michigan guys, watching Andy and stuff. And I followed Michigan, and my coach, Tony Beardsley, high school coach, was friends with Joe McFarland, and, and still they're good friends, and uh, and he really directed me toward Michigan, and. You know, I, I, I was really close to going to Missouri at the end, and he kind of directed me toward Michigan, and, and uh, I haven't regretted it once since. It's been it was a great choice for me. Do you think that the guys, uh, was it Pat Owen and Kyle Smith, do you think that they kind of influenced you to come here? You know, it did It did, uh, It did. did have an impact for sure, because, you know, past Montana guys having success here, and, and Pat Owen was here for two years, my first two years here, and it kind of made the transition a little easier. You know, he was an older guy that I could could go to and I learned a lot from Pat and uh, I mean he's coaching at Harvard now and uh, so that, that, that did it made the transition a lot easier having those other Montana guys that were, were here. What are your goals and expectations for the season this year at 197? Uh, my goal is to is to win Big Ten title national championship and to, to go undefeated this year and that's that's what I've been training for and uh, you know that's that was my goal last year and, and it didn't didn't quite happen so uh, you know my my main focus though is is uh, is you know being ready at the end of the season for that Big Ten championships in the national tournament this year. Okay, so 184 loaded weight class. You got two champions returning in Pasilla, who you've beaten before. You guys kind of go back and forth, and in Herbert, who you actually beat in the freestyle season. Do you think that that affected your move up at all? Uh, you know, it definitely didn't. And, and to be honest, you know, at times I still. I still kind of played with the idea of uh, of, of going back down 84 just because I want to compete with those guys more. Uh, and you know, I, I I beat both of those guys, but but uh, you know I, I haven't I haven't beat them when it counted. You know, at, at, during the college season and uh, in Pasillo, I beat two years ago and at the beginning this year in Vegas. And you know, he he kind of he got the best of me when it counted at the end. You know, at, at, at Big Tens and then he ended up winning nationals. Uh, so I mean, it definitely, definitely not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going up to, to not face those guys. You're not avoiding anyone. Absolutely not. You know, I I, I love. I like getting that guys. out there. I like, like people knowing that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, I I'm really looking forward to competing with Farner. I'm glad that he's that he's going up, and uh, you know, getting to compete with him. And and who knows? You know, maybe uh, throughout the season, if my body, you know, is, is if my weight starts coming down, I can't hold my weight up. Maybe I'll go back down to 84. Uh, I, I I did certify at 84, so I mean, that's a possibility. So we'll. We'll see, and uh, and you know I I'm just uh, I want I want to compete with those guys you know too, and uh, and I'm going to get to compete with with Herb, with you know, Jake and Herbert you know more in the, in the future in freestyle as well, and I, I feel like I got his number a little bit right now, 
with uh, with freestyle beating the last two times, but uh, he's beat me in collision, so I mean, I, I, w I would like to get that win against, against him in collision for sure. So we'll see. Last thing, I gotta pan down to this real quick. What's up with these, with the brand on the leg, man? What's going on there? Talk to me about that a little bit. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm not big into tattoos, and uh, I, I, brands are a little tougher to me. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't know, I just, uh, it's a circle of life, man. It just keeps going round and round. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to let you get to the uh, ceremony, and good luck this year at 97, Thank and you. we're going to be catching up with you plenty of times throughout the season time. All right, great, thanks.